Hello everybody. I hope you're having a great Tuesday or Wednesday depending on what part of the region of the world you are in and I'm just going to take some time to discuss some political issues that have definitely come to light here of late and so that's what I'm going to do. And to start off with, uh, I'm going to bring up uh, what's been taking place in Hong Kong and how part of me is kind of torn over what has taken place because I ran across some footage pictures of some Hong Kong people who are out protesting and they're waving an American flag. And to me, that's a symbol of freedom, liberty, and those freedoms and liberties under which we have, which would be our amendments to our constitution. One of those being the right to bear arms, the freedom of speech. And in Kong, Hong Kong, they are not allowed to possess firearms and a report that I read here recently now has the Chinese government banning civilians from carrying uh, laser pointers because apparently they've been used to uh, shine into Big Brother's cameras on the streets and in some cases apparently they've been used to shine into police officers eyes so China has now made these people who carry a laser pointer a criminal as if they were carrying a firearm and to which I think is just absolutely ridiculous but that it's neither here nor there the issue that I'm having troubles with is the fact that these people are under a hand of tyranny and they're wanting freedom they're out there crying for freedom and they're they're wanting this freedom and yet people here in the United States are demanding that we get rid of some of our freedoms. They want to curtail our freedom of speech. They want to get rid of our right to bear arms. And what's troubling is historically, every time a regime, a government, a society has gotten rid of their firearms, it's ended up in massive death, uh, genocide, if you would. It's ended up in massive wars and it ends up with people in a under a tyrannical government uh, being subjects to the government instead of being free citizens to the government and free to do what they want and it allows the government to do everything they want to do because they are now the ones that are in possession of those firearms and we are seeing that kind of movement spring up in our millennials and generation xers and even those from, uh, well, Generation Z, as well as my generation, Generation X, we're seeing that thought process spring up that we need to get rid of our firearms so it'll make society better. We're even seeing that being pushed by those that would be of the baby boomer generation that are pushing getting rid of the firearms, the firearms, the trouble, and the cause. And yet, when we look at Hong Kong, these people are crying for freedom. And one way that you can obtain freedom is the possession and owning of a firearm under which the citizens can rise up against a tyrannical government and overthrow them. So that's my thought. I just find it ironic that across the sea we've got a group of people crying for freedom and here in our own country we've got people that want to get rid of it. It, it just it doesn't make sense to me. Um, the second one that I'm going to bring up is Adam Schiff's closing statement to uh, the American people, if you would, uh, during the closing of the impeachment investigation, uh, impeachment trial, or as I like to call it, the kangaroo court that was taking place. And that closing statement, as he supposedly is quoting a colleague of his, we are better than that. And... You know, I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd actually agree with Adam Schiff. We are better than that. We are better than that which you just gave the American people. Unfounded accusations uh, hurled at our current seating president, trying to overthrow him for actions that he never did do. And yeah, you're absolutely right, Adam Schiff. We are better than that. Uh, we're a government and a nation that's supposed to be founded upon truth and justice. Uh, if we want to get into DC Comics, we say truth and justice in the American way, which would seem to be often stated in, in comic books when I was a kid, or on Super Friends uh, on Saturday morning cartoons. Um, yeah, that's what we are supposed to be. We are to be better than what you have put forth. A bunch of people that sit before you 
spewing a bunch of made up stories, allegations, uh, accusations they heard from somebody else who heard from somebody else, but never hearing directly from the one person. And then the one person who did supposedly hear from Donald Trump even admitted no one on this planet told him that. He's just assuming. So we're hurling these accusations based off of hearsay and assumptions. And if that's where America is coming to, we're seriously in trouble. So you're right, Adam Schiff, we are better than that. And then uh, the next one I'm gonna bring up has to do with the uh, pro-choice, or as I like to call it, the baby killer movement. And this is a video that I ran across produced by a group of young men. Uh, they're on YouTube, their account or their channel name is uh, TFP Student Action. And in this video, uh, they are out with a sign. Uh, it's something like, end the sin of abortion now. And I fully stand where they, the, they are at. I completely understand where they're at. And I really, in many ways, don't have a problem with what they were doing because they're standing peacefully, they're handing out a flyer, and they would have a, a cordial conversation, at least cordial on their side, uh, with people who are on the other side. And what is troubling to me is a gal that comes up, and actually quite a few of them, in fact, they all think that their body, it's, it's my body, it's my choice, is their constant saying. To a degree, I'll understand, yeah, it is your body. But your choice, in my opinion, was removed the moment you decided to have sex and produce an offspring. Now that choice becomes the choice of not only you, but also of that baby. And so this mother stands up and is just riling on these young men. And she is talking about her right for birth control and her right for birth control measures. And she had two kids and I chose to get rid of one. And the way she stated it was so cold. So cold. It's as if these people literally have no moral value at all. And what these boys' video really does show is the moral depravity of our country and how far we've sunk to the garbage dump for our moral values. That we can look at an innocent life, a baby growing inside a woman, and we can just simply discard it as if it was last night's dinner. And to me, that's just absolutely sick. And this, this woman who gets pregnant three times, as she puts it, and she disposes one of them or gets rid of one, I can't remember the exact word she used, so cold, so callous, no heart at all. I feel sorry for any of her children that are growing up in the house that are being uh, infected with that mind. Um, troubling to see that's where our, our country's come. This country of freedom is now the freedom for you to do what you want in spite of that human life you've created. And they never want to stop to say, my freedom stops where this life is concerned and we should be protecting this life. And then that led me to my last thing that I'll bring up this morning is uh, a video that I ran across. Granted, it's three years old. It uh, was done, I'm not sure by what organization, but it came out around the time of our last election, three years ago, and it's actress uh, Olivia Wilde. Um, I only know her from two movies, Tron and uh, Space Cowboys, I think was the other one. Um, you know, I did like her in Tron, not so much Space Cowboys, but that's neither here nor there. The, the, what it is is a video of her talking about I guess we could call it a right to have a baby. So I'm going to read you her words. And then what I will do is I'll post a link to the video below. Uh, her words say this. This election cycle I have been thinking a lot about reproductive rights. Everyone's right to plan when they want to have a family. And it's on my mind because... I'm literally about to have a baby, like in a minute. And she kind of turns sideways and rubs her hand across her belly. Uh, to be able to decide exactly how and when and why and where I want to have a baby, and I believe that is a basic human right, I care about reproductive rights, what you care about. 
If you care about your future, vote for it. Kind of cold and callous, if you ask me, that you're about to have a baby, yet you're on your mind in this present state that you can wipe that baby out if you choose to. Uh, pretty sick. You're about to deliver, and what's on your mind is the killing of innocent life. Really? That's the best you got for the world, Olivia? Is to stand before the world and say, you're about your right to choose when or where or how or why you have a baby? You're right. You do have that right. And what's, that's called abstinence or called family planning. And that family planning doesn't include getting pregnant and deciding to end that pregnancy because it's inconvenient for you or because you didn't want it. I got news for you, Olivia Wilde. I got five children. And I'll be quite honest, three of them were not planned. But all three of those that weren't planned are a blessing in their own right, and I'm glad I have them. They would not have been aborted, even though they were unwanted. So you're right, you have a right to decide when you're gonna have a child, where you're gonna have the child, how you're gonna go about getting it. I understand that, that is your right. But to end it? I don't see that as being a right. And to see that abortion is some form of birth control is completely wrong. And your moral values are completely obscure. They're just, they're wrong. They're off. But of course, that is the mindset of the liberal mind today. We can kill it. We can rip it out. We can sell off its parts for money. And who's to say why we can't do it? It's not your position to say I can't because it's my body. It's my right. You're right. It is your body. But I think you've lost that right the minute you decided to get pregnant. The minute that you decide to bed down with somebody to have a baby. It's time to live up to that right. And that's the right to let that life live. To let that life come out. And to have a life of its own. An excuse to get rid of an unwanted pregnancy, as if it's last night's dinner, it's just wrong in all shape or form. What's next? Kill off the geriatric patient because, you know, after all, they're interfering with our right? Kill off your mom and dad because, you know what, I'm having to take care of them and I don't have time for this, so we'll just get rid of them. Is that what's next in line? Is that where you're going with your rights, Olivia? Is that where you're going with your rights, the Democratic and Liberal Party? And in some ways, I'm speaking to my own mom, who sees that she doesn't want government to come in and tell her what she can and cannot do with her body. Again, I pitch the argument. We have a government that tells you what we can and cannot do with our bodies every single day. Every time we climb in a car here in the state of Oregon, when you're required to put on a seatbelt, the government's telling you what you can and cannot do with your body. Across our country, we have a government telling us constantly, if you ride a motorcycle, at least in those states where the law is required to wear a helmet, you have that government telling you, you must wear a helmet when you ride a motorcycle. So the government tells us regularly what we can and cannot do with our bodies. The government tells us we cannot go out and have sex and pay a prostitute for it. That's wrong. Our society, our government tells us we can't do that. It's not to say people aren't doing that every single day and every single night. But the government does tell you, you can't be doing that. That's wrong. With the exclusion of Nevada, which seems to have a lot more liberal laws than, than I would desire. But that's neither here nor there. It's the point is, the government tells us regularly what we can and cannot do with our body. The government tells us regularly what we can and cannot do with our own property, for that matter. You know, so we got a lot of the government telling us what we cannot do. So that's just a poor excuse, an absolutely poor argument. So, where do I go from here and what do we do from th with this? And that is this. Your right to have a baby is your right. I'm not going to deny you that right to choose when to have that child, where to deliver that child. But I am telling you, once that child is growing inside you, it's no longer your right to get rid of. And we do need to change the policies of this government. It's, it's pretty sad that we are in one of the freest nations in the world, and yet we can't even see to offer freedom to that life. And by the way, it's not just a clump of cells. It's not just a fetus. It is a life. It grows. It changes. 
It develops a cognitive ability. It does feel pain inside the body. It does move at the voice of mom into the voices of music. That's all been proven. It's a life. It's a living, breathing thing. And what bothers me is most of you people on the left seem to care more about the life of animals than a human life growing inside a woman. And that is sick. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you find yourself well. Uh, food for thought. I will try and uh, recall where these videos that I ran across and I will post them in the description below. Uh, please subscribe. I'll put it up in this upper corner over here. Subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Hit like, subscribe if you would. And uh, have yourself a wonderful afternoon and God bless.